boxing chat, Dwight Ritchie. Welcome to the show, mate. Hi, mate. Thanks for me on. Thanks for coming on the show. Where did it all, where did it all start? Did Dad have a lot to do with it? Uh, not a great deal, mate. Um, I had um, a family friend come around and um, he said his old man was setting up a, a boxing gym in his backyard and said that I should come around and um, give it a go. And when I ran out, I was about 12 years old and that was it, mate. That was it for me. I, I never left. Really? So how many amateur fights did you have, Dwight? I just had the eight. Just eight? That's not a lot, but uh, you didn't muck around in the pros. You've, you've run off to a 19-1 record. Um, it all started back in uh, 2009. You had your first professional bout? Yeah, yeah. I probably got uh, started a little bit earlier than I should have, but um, yeah, I couldn't wait to get in the pros. At, at the time, the, I was training with Keith Ellis and oh, I wasn't yeah. really started with... Um, with the amateur style at the time, and yeah. Yeah, I was training with a bunch of pros, so we just uh, got a wriggle on. Yeah, right. See, um, you thought you started a bit too early, mate. You run away. You didn't. You, you've only lost the one. It was until 2016 you run in the Koki Tyson, and you lost a unanimous decision. You only lost so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a bit of an off night that night, as you exactly. do. But um... <laughs> well said, <laughs> <laughs> mate. It just but, played uh, out. You that sound like you're so honest, mate. No, nah, no, nah, uh, you know, these things happen, but I um, bounced back and uh, got a few wins on the trot now, so, and then uh, booked in this big fight, it's come up August 14. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. Are you uh, are you confident beating Timothy Zhu? Yeah, when I got the call to say that the fight was confirmed, well, the, my nose was just so popped up and, um, you know, everything's gone really well with the training prep and stuff, so um, I'm going into that ring feeling 100% confident that I can uh, walk away with the victory. Yeah, right. Uh, so you, you're sure you can outbox him, mate? You're going to outbox Timmy? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think he's going to try and come to look to knock me out. I, I think, um, yeah, I, I just think that uh, my ability to adapt uh, my smarts in the ring um, will uh, see me out of trouble. Yeah. OK, he's been compared to his father, Costa. Do you think Tim's as good as his dad? I'd say it's very early to it make is, such a big, big comparison like that. You know, Costa... Pound for pound, one of the best, you know, yeah. and, just, and at, at his weight at the time to be the unified champion, undisputed yeah. champion. Um, no, nah, you, you can't you can't say those things this early in his career, but um, he's definitely, he has a likeness to his father, a very similar style, but um, can he be as great as his father? Only time will tell. Yeah, sure. Okay, you're both Bob's Camilleri. Did you defeat him easier than Timothy Zoo, you think? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we both had our difficulties with Joel. He's very awkward, um, comes with a good game plan. Um, because me and Tim are quite different boxers, or, mm-hmm. to, and, you know, the old thing goes, you know, styles make fights. Oh, I don't really... I defeated him, Tim defeated him, but yeah. I, I think it's um, apples and oranges sort of thing, you know, chalk and cheese. Yeah, well said, mate. Um, you've had sparring sessions with Michael Zarafa. How have they been? Now, Mike was on the show last week as well as Timmy. Uh, how's your sparring sessions with Michael Zarafa been? Oh, as anyone could imagine, they've been pretty full on, pretty yeah. brutal, but uh, it's, um, you know, it, look, it's getting us ready and, you know, um, been sparring with him, uh, Daniel Lewis and Jack Brubaker, you know, they, they, this is the kind of level that I need to be at, you know, if I'm going to take that next step, so it's been really great to be able to get around him with those guys. Yeah, have you got a big crowd coming up to see you, mate, on the Wednesday the 14th? Yeah, mate, yeah, there's been a heap of people bet, um, from Shepparton, yeah, yeah. family and that, they all want to make the trip, so no, it's been good. Uh, it's been good, I nearly, I, I've yet to meet you Dwight, I nearly did, you were, you were sparring at Brian Waters' gym there a few weeks ago, well, I was on my way there, but just didn't get there. Sydney traffic, eh? Oh, mate, isn't it, eh? Don't make me sweat. Don't make me sweat on radio, Dwight, but isn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I was, I was doing some rounds with Daniel Lewis here. Yeah, That's right. I was um, kind enough to have us down, and um, you know, all the boys there, like, um, yeah, I made us feel real welcome, so it was really great. I was up there for three days, and I got some of the best rounds of the camps. Yeah. Uh, great preparation. That's fantastic. Well, look, we'll cut it there, mate, and best of luck on August the 14th, mate. No worries, man. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Yeah, absolute pleasure, Dwight. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Bye. Thank you. And that was Dwight Ritchie. What a champion. Okay, let's.